Hey guys, uh, my name is Jason. I'm a running coach, and I'm going to be releasing today a video, uh, which is going to be the first of many videos. Um, and today's video is going to be a 12-week program uh, for absolute beginners who want to try a 5K with no running experience whatsoever. Okay, so we'll take you through it. And the reason why I choose 12 weeks, you can do it in less time, but I like 12 weeks because it gets you, gives you an opportunity to do three cycles of four weeks each. The first of four weeks would be just basic running combined with walking, and then you can introduce some um, some hills and some basic speed work in the next cycle, and then you can introduce some accelerated running um, or tempo type threshold running in the last cycle. So 12 weeks is a nice um, block of training because it gives you an opportunity to you know get in tune with the different types of training that you would do. Um, as well as set you up nicely for post run as well, and not only help you recover quickly, but it'll set you up so that if you want to run another 5K or transition to something longer, you could do that. So, without further ado, let's go over the details. Um, so, we'll start with this is weeks one through four, and I have everything written out already, so I'll just put it up and you can take notes as you please. Um, so, week one, you'll see on Monday. 30 minutes of 5 minutes of running and 5 minutes of walking. So it's three, basically 3 segments of 10 minutes. So it's 15 minutes of total running. Tuesday you're off. Wednesday the same repeat. Um, 30 minutes of 5 minutes of running, 5 minutes of walking. Thursday you're off. Friday again 30 minutes of 5 minutes of running. 30 minutes of 5 running, 5 walking. Saturday off. Sunday repeat again 30 minutes of 5 run, 5 walk. So you have four of the same days with an alternating off day. Um, so the second week, Monday, 30 minutes of five run, five walk. Tuesday, you're off. Wednesday, you have 30 minutes of 7.30 run, 7.30 walk. Okay, so what that does is it gives you 15 minutes of running, like as before, but now it's in two bigger pieces instead of three smaller pieces. So we're gradually increasing the amount of running that you do at once without altering the total amount of running that you're doing. Okay, so Wednesday is a 7.30, 7.30. Thursday, you're off. Friday, 30 minutes of 5 run, 5 walk. Saturday, you have 40 minutes of 5 minutes of running and 5 minutes of walking. So you've got 20 minutes of total running with 20 minutes of walking. And Sunday, you're off. And I don't know if you noticed something else here, but now you have two consecutive days of running. This is the first time you have two consecutive days, and we'll gradually increase that as you go along too. Okay, so let's go to week three now. 30 minutes of a 5 run, 5 walk. Tuesday, you're off. Wednesday, 40 minutes of 5 run, 5 walks. So you have 20 minutes and 20 minutes. Thursday, 30 minutes of 7.30 running, 7.30 walking. So again, 15 minutes of total running, but in two bigger pieces. Friday, you're off. And Saturday, 30 minutes of 5 run, 5 walk. Sunday, 40 minutes of 10 run, 10 walk. Now you have 20 minutes of total running in two bigger pieces. Uh, instead of three smaller ones or four smaller ones. And if you notice, it's two consecutive days here, two consecutive days there. Okay, so it's a gradual increase, very gradual. We're taking these first four weeks to really build up uh, volume and, where, and to the point where we can level off and start incorporating different things. Okay, so week four, Monday you're off because we had two consecutive days running here. Tuesday, 30 minutes of 7.30 running, 7.30 walking. Wednesday, 40 minutes of four minutes running and six minutes of walking. So it's a little bit easier, a um, little bit of an easy day. When, uh, Thursday, you've got 30 minutes of five run, five walk. Friday, you're off. And then Saturday, 40 minutes of 12 minutes and 30 seconds of running with seven minutes and 30 seconds of walking. So two segments, you have 25 minutes of total running now. Um, and Sunday, 30 minutes of five run, five walk. Now, I don't know if you notice anything else here, but we do not take consecutive days off. Um, the reason why we wanted to, we wanted to help the body, uh, teach the body to develop a consistent rhythm. And when you have consecutive days off, it tends to interrupt that rhythm. So we want to maintain as much consistency as possible with the running itself. So just to piggyback everything, it's a gradual increase and a progression in the volume, okay, and the amount of days that you run consecutively. Everything's going to be a gradual progression. And then we mix running with walking in the beginning, which which helps with a smooth buildup of your fitness and helps with your recovery as well. Okay, so now I'm going to take this down. We're going to go to weeks five through eight. Okay, we'll put this up. And again, it's all written out for you. It's all done already. Okay. K 
Okay, let's go to week five. 30 minutes on Monday of 7.30 walking, 15 minutes of running, 7.30 walking. So now you have a bigger piece of running. Um, Tuesday, you're off. Wednesday, 40 minutes of 10 run, 10 walk. Thursday, 30 minutes of 7.30 run, 7, uh, 7.30 walk. And Friday, 40 minutes of 12 walking, 16 running, and 12 walking. So again, a couple of bigger pieces of running this week, and you're running three consecutive days here. Friday, Saturday, you're off. And Sunday, 30 minutes of 7.30 run, 7.30 walk. Okay, let's go to week six. Monday, you've got 30 minutes of 10 run, 5 walk. Tuesday, you're off. Wednesday, you got 40 minutes of 10 walk, 20 run, okay, 20 minutes of consecutive running, and 10 minutes of walking. So you're bookending the runs with the walks. Um, Thursday, you got 30 minutes of 7.30 running and 7.30 walking. 40 minutes um, on Friday of 10 minutes of walking. Um, now you have 20 minutes of running with a hard mile within that 20 minutes of running. Okay. So we're incorporating some acceleratory running here. Um, just to test yourself a little bit, um, mix things up. We don't want things to become overly redundant, so we try to introduce different things here and there. Saturday, you're off. Sunday, 30 minutes of 7.30 running and 7.30 walking. And again, you have three consecutive days of running here. It's five total days of running with two off days, none of which are consecutive. Um, let's go to week seven. 20 minutes of consecutive running just in one run now. Now we're introducing some uphill strides, okay? Five by 50 meter uphill strides. If you don't have a measurement, 15 seconds is fine. 10 to 15 seconds is fine. Um, the shorter the strides are, the steeper the hill is. Um, as you get longer, the hill should not be as steep, uh, especially in the beginning stages. As you get more experienced and more fit, that becomes a little bit more of an advanced thing, okay? Tuesday, you're off. Wednesday, 40 minutes of 7.30 walking, 25 minutes of consecutive running, 7.30 walking. Thursday, 30 minutes of 7.30 running, 7.30 walking, and we're, we're complementing the 5 by 50 meter uphill strides with 5 by 50 meter flat strides here. Okay, You want to get used to running on the uphills and on the flats particularly. If you're going to run a course like a, a 5K road race, you don't really know whether it's going to be pancake flat or hilly or when, that, when and where the hills are going to be. Uh, it can just can be rolling. Um, so Friday, 45 minutes of 10 minutes of walking, 25 minutes of running, 10 minutes of walking. Saturday, you're off. Sunday, 30 minutes of 7.30 running and 7.30 walking, so 15 minutes of total running. Okay, let's go to week eight. 20 minutes on Monday of consecutive running. Now we're bumping up to five by 100 meter uphill strides. And this is a walk back, a walk down, you can jog if you like, um, but feel don't don't feel obligated to. Um, Tuesday you're off. <clears throat> Wednesday 45 minutes of 10 running, and five walking. So you have 30 minutes of total running. Okay. Thursday 30 minutes of consecutive running, but five by 100 meter flat strides. Friday 45 minutes of 10 walk, 25 running, and 10 walking. So now you're getting used to longer bouts of consecutive running. Um, Saturday, you're off. Sunday, 30 minutes of 7.30 walking, 15 minutes of running, 7.30 walking. So we're introducing some longer stuff, combining it with some shorter recovery stuff, and incorporating some hills and some accelerated running, a little bit here, a little bit there. So you have a couple of new things in this four-week block now. Okay? And again, the volume kind of levels off, and you have some accelerated running, um, which is incorporated on the uphill and the flats. And you may notice you're running pretty much the same amount of time, upwards of 20 to 30 minutes, but it's more, um, instead of broken into pieces, it's more together now, or in less pieces that are just bigger pieces, or as you can see in some consecutive running. The idea is to get to from 6 by 5 minutes to 3 by 10 minutes to 2 by 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay, It's the same amount of running, your goal is to just build it gradually so that you're doing it all at once. Okay, so now let's go to the final four weeks. Okay, weeks nine to twelve. Okay. This is 
is the last block of training here. Okay, so week nine. Monday, you've got 25 minutes of consecutive running, and now we've bumped it up to five by 150 meter uphill strides. And again, you can eyeball it. If you don't have a measuring thing, that's totally fine. If you don't have a watch, um, you know, tend to be, let's say, 10, 10 to 15 seconds for 100 meters. I mean, for 50 meters, a um, little bit longer for 100 meters, 20 to 30. Uh, or 20 to 25, and you can go 30 to 35 or 40 seconds for the 150 meter uphill strides. Um, Tuesday you're off. Wednesday you got 40 minutes of 7:30 walk, 25 running, 7:30 walk. Thursday 30 minutes of consecutive running. That's it. 40 minutes on Friday, but now it's broken down a little bit differently. Okay, you've got five minutes of walking, then 10 minutes of running, and then the next 10 minutes of running is going to be five times one minute hard by one minute easy. Okay, you're just going to test yourself. You're going to accelerate, run a little bit harder for a minute, and go back to your regular pace for a minute, times five, which is the next block of 10 minutes, and then 10 more minutes of running, which gives you 30 minutes of total running, and then bookend it with five minutes of walking at the end. Saturday, you're off. Sunday, 35 minutes of 7.30 walking, 20 running, and 7.30 walking as well. Week 10, Monday you've got 25 minutes plus 5 by 150 meter uphill strides. Tuesday you're off. Wednesday 40 minutes of 7.30 walking. 25 minutes of total running, but you're going to run 1.5 miles of it, 1.5 miles of it, a bit harder. You're going to test yourself again. Okay. The idea is gradually building up that point where you're running harder to callous you to get you ready for a 5K. Okay. And then bookend it with seven thirty minutes, seven minutes and thirty seconds of walking at the end. Thursday, thirty minutes of consecutive running. Friday, forty minutes, fifteen running, and five minutes of walking. So we have thirty minutes of total running with ten minutes of walking, and then five by hundred meters flat, um, which is the same walk equal or jog equal. You're off on Saturday, Sunday, thirty-five minutes total with five walk, twenty-five running. Five walking. Week 11. We're almost there. Almost there. Week 11. 25 minutes total running. Six by 100 meter uphill strides. Tuesday you're off. Wednesday 40 minutes of five minutes walking. 30 minutes of running. Five minutes walking. Thursday 30 minutes of consecutive running. Friday 40 minutes total of five walk. Then we're going to go 7.30 running. And then for the next... 15 minutes, 5 by 2 minutes hard, 1 minute easy. And then 7.30 running, so again, a block of 30 minutes of consecutive running with the, with the middle 15 minutes being broken up into pieces. And then bookend it with 5 minutes of walking. Saturday, you're off. Sunday, 30 minutes of 5 walk, 20 run, 5 walk. And race week, week 12. Monday, you have 20 minutes. Now you have 3 by 100 meter uphill strides and three by 100 meter flat all with an equal jog or equal walk tuesday you're off wednesday 30 minutes of seven minutes of walking and the middle 16 minutes is going to be eight by one minute hard by one and one minute easy and then seven minutes of walking on the other end for a total of 30 minutes uh, so entire walking pieces and the running piece is just going to be 16 minutes Thursday, 30 minutes. I mean, uh, 30 minutes of 10 run, five walk, um, times two, <clears throat> so 20 minutes of total running, with three by 100 meter flat strides. Friday, you're off. Saturday, 15 to 20 minute easy shakeout, just to get the legs loose. And Sunday, you jog five to seven minutes easy, just to get the heart rate up. Do strides if you need to, if you want to. Um, then you have the 5K race. And then I would encourage you um, to jog another five to seven minutes easy on the back end, only because sometimes in a 5K race, we tend to go a little bit harder um, just because it's a race. Um, and you, you, know, you might throw a little bit of junk in your legs. A little bit of, uh, your legs might feel a little bit heavy afterward, and this is a great way of getting you to flush them out a little bit. Okay? And I don't know if you notice another thing. I do not have a day off before the race. Okay? I have it off two days before the race. Um, the reason why I do that is... Uh, there's a drastic difference in how your legs feel 
if you take the day off before a race versus if you take two days off and then you can run the day before the race a little bit easy. Um, your legs will feel a heck of a lot better if you run the day before and take off two days before. So, um, and another thing I want you to notice throughout the this block and the block, block previous is you have some kind of accelerated running every couple of days, um, whether it's strides and then a little bit of a workout and then some strides. You want to keep that rhythm and that momentum going all the time, okay? Even race week. You don't want to try anything different on race week. Okay? You want to keep that mode going. So you have your accelerator running here and your strides and then the race. Uh, so again, the hard, easy efforts help callous you for the unpredictable changes in pace that may arise. Some people go out crazy fast. You want to run your race, not theirs. Um, a lot of those people come back. The bear jumps on their back at some point. Um, you know, you ideally, if you can train at a similar time each day, that would be very helpful. Um, particularly in the mornings, if you train in the mornings, I would encourage you to do the same thing all the time, or as consistent as possible. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Okay. Stretch. Have a good stretch um, and a good flexibility routine. Um, and get yourself a comfortable pair of shoes that you can utilize as well. Um, I highly encourage you to fuel and hydrate within 30 to 40 minutes after a run or a workout to help maximize recovery. So there you go. It's a 12-week program. It's broken down into details. I will be uh, releasing some other videos um, of an intermediate level, of a competitive level for 5K, um, 10K, half marathon and marathon. I've tried these programs on all my athletes from high school level to the semi-professional to the professional level and have had, had tremendous success along the way. Um, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to see anything specific. And I hope this is helpful. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.